Hello, and welcome to Beyond the Awards Banquet, a webinar for scholarship shares that will talk about how today's ELK scholars can be tomorrow's ELK. I'm going to start with some information concerning the webinar. So just some troubleshooting information. Um, thank you for attending the webinar, and I'll start with an introduction. My name is Marianne Slater, and I am the Programs Relationship Associate here at the Elks National Foundation. I work with our scholarship programs and our Elks scholarship recipients. I will also have two special guests joining me during the webinar, so stay tuned. Before we get started, I'd like to touch on a few points about today's webinar. First, if you are ha having trouble hearing me, turn up the volume on your speakers on your computer. If at any point you get disconnected, simply click the link in the email you received to re-enter the meeting. During the webinar, you can sit back and listen, and I'll click through the slides of the presentation. You'll notice a few other things on the screen. There is a dashboard in the upper right corner of your screen which has a question and answer box. This is where you can type in any questions you have during the webinar. The questions will come directly to me and will not be seen by the group. Today's webinar will last less than half an hour with additional time following for questions. Feel free to submit a question at any time, but please note that questions will be answered following the presentation. If we can't get to your question or you need to disconnect early, you can always email us at scholarship at elks.org or you can call our office directly and we'll be happy to answer your questions. Also note, this webinar will be recorded and posted on the scholarship share only section of the website later today. Before we begin, I'd like to share a bit about my story and how being engaged by ELKS members and the ELKS National Foundation has impacted my life. I was very fortunate to receive a 2011 Legacy Scholarship that supported me throughout my time at Rutgers University in New Jersey. Both of my parents are members of the ELKS and are actually past exalted rulers, so I grew up in the order. But I always saw it as something more for my parents. I wasn't sure if I ever saw myself joining the order. But after being selected to join the ENF Scholar Advisory Board, which is a group of eight scholars from across the country that works with the ENF to create new opportunities to engage ELK scholars, I was able to see, on a larger scale, all of the wonderful things that ELKs were doing across the country, and I was able to find my own place within the order. In fact, when I turned 21, I became a member of the Metuchen, New Jersey Lodge, number 1914, and two other Scholar Advisory Board members, Macy Warburton and Devin Noonan also joined the order soon after turning 21. As college and my time on the Scholar Advisory Board was ending, I was very fortunate to be offered the position of Elk Scholar Fellow at the Foundation, a two-year position responsible for running the Elk Scholar Service Trip, the ENF's newest, in newest initiative for scholars that allows them to serve in the name of the Elks for an entire week and to connect with their Elks family from across the country. In November of 2015, I was very thankful for the opportunity to step into the position of Programs Relationship Associate at the Foundation, a position that allows me to connect with our scholars from across the country. While it is my hope that many of our scholars will become invested in the order, it takes personal relationships with ELKS members for scholars to feel welcomed as a part of the ELKS community. As scholarship shares, you are an integral part in engaging ELKS scholars and impacting their lives at the local level. So thank you for joining me today. This chart is from a recent survey of ELK scholars who attended the Spring ELK Scholar Service Trip. 16 ELK scholars from all across the country attended this ELK Scholar Service Trip and served in Washington, D.C. from March 6th through 11th, 2016. And the survey results from the trip are still rolling in. Many of the scholars on the trip had never been to an ELK Lodge event before attending this trip. As you can see, the vast majority either could not see themselves joining the order or were interested in learning more but didn't know how. That's where you come in. Scholars are eager to serve, and many are interested in learning about the Elks, but many don't know how to accomplish these goals. During the Elk Scholar Service Trip, we were invited to dinner at the Arlington Fairfax Lodge, number 2188. Scholars served and shared dinner with wounded warriors who came with the Alethea Foundation and ended the night by hearing from the Arlington Fairfax Virginia members about why they joined the Elks and what being a member means to them. The survey results speak for themselves. 
As you can see, the overwhelming majority of survey respondents are open to the idea of joining the ELKS after being engaged at the lodge level. Now, let's talk about some ways that you can engage scholars at your local lodge. We are hosting this webinar now in preparation for the announcement of the Class of 2016 ELK Scholars. It's the perfect time for you and your lodge to start doing some of the things we'll discuss today. So you can get a great, so that you can start to form great relationships with ELK Scholars right from the beginning. Did you know that Legacy Scholars are now required to serve with an ELK Lodge once per year to receive their scholarship funds? This is a wonderful opportunity for you to keep in touch with Legacy Scholars in your area throughout, your college, throughout their college career. We believe and have seen that if scholars get involved with the ELKS and strengthen those relationships, they will be more inclined to join. So start to engage ELK Scholars now and continue that relationship after they are awarded their scholarship. I'd like to share a couple of stories with you about scholars who were engaged by lodges at the local level and the effect that this has had on their lives. Sean Pringle, former Scholar Advisory Board member and 2010 MBS scholar, got involved with the Oceano Five Cities California Lodge starting his freshman year of college. He regularly volunteered there and got to know the members quite well. Sustained relationships are key to getting scholars involved with your lodge and keeping them involved so they will want to join. Sean shared, the Elks Lodge plays an integral part in my community. I wanted to reach out and show my thanks by volunteering at the Lodge. I become very good friends with Lodge members and truly feel part of the Elks family that brings charity and benevolence into my hometown. Now, Sean is a member of the Oceano Five Cities Lodge and he continues to volunteer with the Lodge as a member. Another story I'd like to share with you is of Emily Harrison, Pictured here on the right in one of the orange t-shirts, she was a participant on the Winter Elk Scholar Service trip to Oakland, California. After visiting the Richmond and Alameda Elks Lodges on the trip, Emily had this to share about her experience of meeting Elks members. She said, Elk Scholars and Elks members probably have more in common than they realize. We collectively make up a group of like-minded individuals who strive to better ourselves and our communities through service. ELKS members have a lot of experience to offer us scholars who are maybe just beginning our involvement with the ELKS. As you can see, scholars want to meet ELKS and know more about what we do. Now, we'll talk about a few specific ways that you can engage ELKS scholars at your lodge. We will talk through initially contacting scholars and inviting them to an event at your lodge, such as an awards banquet, different scholar volunteering opportunities with your lodge, the Elk Scholar Speaker Program, Elk Scholar Meetups, and other ways to connect with Elk Scholars. If you invite scholars to your lodge for an awards banquet, here are a few things to keep in mind. Be sure to get their contact information upon their arrival to the lodge. Make some conversation and ask if they'd like to volunteer with your lodge in the future. Invite them to return to the lodge over winter break to share about their college experience. Be sure to start a conversation with their parents about the ELK. Also, make sure that you let them know that you want to see them again. Scholars are already dedicated to community service. Scholars want to volunteer. Send them to lodge events that you might need help with. Hoop shoot contests, judging scholarship applications, and community investment program grant projects are just a few ways that you can invite scholars to get involved with your lodge. Think about skills that scholars may have that your lodge could benefit from. For example, perhaps one of your ELK scholars could photograph an event for you or help to take a picture on the lodge's camera. Do you need help getting your lodge onto a social media platform? ELK scholars are most likely on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and other social media platforms. Scholars could help to get your Lodge Facebook page started so that you can share about all of the good work your Lodge is doing with a wider audience. When reaching out to ELK scholars and trying to contact them about volunteer opportunities, don't be afraid to use more than one point of contact. After getting their contact information at an initial meeting at your Lodge when they receive their scholarship, don't be afraid to send them an email about an upcoming opportunity. Follow up with a phone call as well, if necessary. 
Sometimes answering a phone call can be quicker than trying to find that email that gets lost in your inbox. So don't be afraid to give a scholar a phone call. And if you don't hear back from a scholar right away, don't give up. Many ELK scholars are highly involved on campus. And just because they are unable to attend one volunteer opportunity because it interferes with a class or on-campus involvement doesn't mean that they would be opposed to volunteering at a future event. Continue to contact scholars with future volunteer opportunities. One way to engage ELK scholars at your lodge is through a hoop shoot contest. Here we have the story of Macy Warburton, a 2010 Most Valuable Student Scholar and former Scholar Advisory Board member who enjoyed her time volunteering with the hoop shoot so much that she eventually joined the order by joining Junction, Junction City, Kansas Lodge, number 1037. Macy shares, as a 2010 Most Valuable Student Scholarship recipient, I searched for ways during my college years to give back to the Elks, a group that had given me so much support to attend college. Thankfully, during my first year at Kansas State University, our hoop shoot director allowed me to attend the state contest where I served as a rebounder. Little did I know that my passion for the hoop shoot program, the Elks, and the youth would be sparked to this point where I would continue to participate in the program five years later. And it just so happens that we have some hoop shoot royalty with us today, Billy Donnelly, Youth Programs Associate, who oversees the hoop shoot program at a national level, is here to share a bit about the hoop shoot and how scholars can get involved. Welcome, Billy. Thanks, Marianne. It's great to be here. Um, so, you know, my favorite way for Elk Scholars to get involved, not just in Lodge activities, but also in their communities, is the Elk Hoop Shoot. Um, for those of you that are unaware, the Hoop Shoot is a na nationwide free throw shooting contest for kids ages 8 to 13. Contestants compete at the Lodge, District, State, and Regional level before coming to Chicago as one of our 72 national finalists. There is room for scholar involvement at all levels of the competition. Scholars make great rebounders, they can help with registration, and, and promote any hoop shoot contest through social media. However, I think the Elk Scholars that have volunteered in the past have done an excellent job of engaging the contestants and their families. The Scholars are the young, fun, relatable, and they serve as excellent role models to all of our contestants. They're pretty much like the cool, fun big brothers and, si big brothers and sisters in our Elk family, and they continue to help that family grow. A great example of the Elks family and engagement can be found in a young man named Matthew St. Amore. Matt was a hoop shoot national finalist when he was younger. As he grew up within the Elks family, he ended up becoming an Elk scholar himself. Now he's giving back by volunteering as a member of the inaugural Hoop Shoot Alumni Advisory Board. He's going to come to Chicago for the 2016 Hoop Shoot National Finals and help mentor our national finalists. Whether it's Matt, Macy, Marianne here, or, or many of the other success stories we have of scholars that have volunteered at the Hoop Shoot, uh, you have a wonderful opportunity to reach out to scholars in your area to volunteer at your hoop shoot and help make your Elk family a little bit bigger. And Billy, I heard that we even have some Elk scholars joining us at the national finals in Chicago. That's right. We're, we're going to have a couple of scholars come visit, and they're all going to help in different ways. Um, Macy, of course, who is a, a favorite of the Elk hoop shoot, is going to be back to volunteer for her fifth year. It's her five-year hoop shoot anniversary. Um, a recent Elk Scholar and a Winter Service Trip member, Rohini, is going to be coming in from, uh, from Detroit. She's going to be taking pictures of the hoop shoot and posting them on Instagram for us. Um, and we also have Jessica Carter right here in Chicago, who is a member of the Scholar Advisory Board and a Top 20 Most Valuable Student Scholarship recipient. Um, she's going to come down and help out with activities as well. Great, Billy. Thank you so much for sharing with our audience about all the ways that Elk Scholars can get involved with the hoop shoot. Thanks, Marianne. Another way to engage Elk Scholars is through scholarship judging. Here we have pictured Mark Ansel, our 2015 top male MVS winner, and his twin brother, Andrew, who is also a 2015 Most Valuable Student Scholar, and they assisted with judging Most Valuable Student Scholarship applications in California earlier this year. They really enjoyed their experience of getting to give back to the Elks, and the Elks members enjoyed getting to engage with former scholarship recipients. The next way to engage scholars at your lodge is through a Community Investment Program grant project. Here we have, big, here we have pictured Van Truong. She is a 2013 Most Valuable Student Scholar sponsored by the Port Orange, Florida Lodge, number 2713. The picture on the left of the screen is her on the Winter Elk Scholar Service trip, and on the right was actually when she volunteered with a Community Investment Program grant project. To tell you more about this experience, 
I have my colleague, Jocelyn Moya, who is a programs assistant in the Community Investments Program Office. Welcome, Jocelyn. Thanks for having me, Marianne. I love talking about this because it was one of the most exciting things I've gotten to do as a programs assistant. We're always having meetings trying to connect the grants and the scholarships office together and get scholars involved in the great grant projects that Elks across the country are doing. And this one was a fantastic way. Um, Van had just gone on the Elk Scholar Service trip, and then we noticed that the lodge near her had a project going on, and then we connected the two, and it worked out fabulously. Van had a wonderful time, and it was a great experience for everyone involved. Great. Thank you so much for sharing, Jocelyn. There are definitely a lot of ways for scholars to get involved with grant projects, and if anybody listening has any questions about getting scholars involved, in a grant project, they can email our office, of course, scholarship at elks.org, but they can also get in contact with the grants office. Yes, you can email us at enfprograms at elks.org, and we'd be happy to answer any of your questions, um, any ways to engage scholars in grants. Wonderful. Thank you so much for coming by today, Jocelyn. Thanks for having me, Marianne. Okay, our next opportunity to engage scholars is through the Elk Scholar Speaker Program. Do you remember Emily Harrison pictured on the screen? We heard a quote from her earlier in the webinar about her experience on the Elk Scholar Service Trip. After returning from the Winter Elk Scholar Service Trip in Oakland, California, her sponsoring lodge invited her to speak about her experience. Emily and her parents were able to enjoy a meal at the lodge. You can encourage scholars to come back to the lodge to talk to your members after receiving their scholarship. Scholars love to come back and give thanks to members and update them about college life. Reach out to scholars sponsored by our lodge and invite them to come back for a meal and to say a few words. Usually over winter break, spring break, or the summer is the best time for scholars. We can help facilitate this for you. Just email our office or fill out an Elk Scholar Speaker request on our website and we can pair you with a local scholar. Be sure to mention the Scholar Speaker Program at the first awards banquet or the first time you meet a scholar sponsored by your lodge. Be sure to let them know that you'd love to have them return after their first semester of college. Elk Scholar Meetups are also a great, a great way to get Elk Scholars involved in an informal setting. It's a chance for Elk Scholars to get to know one another, share stories, and build relationships. By hosting a meetup at the lodge, Elk Scholars get to see what the Elks are all about and start building relationships with members. They also get to meet other Elk Scholars in the area. Once Elk Scholars see what great things the Elks do and get to know members, they might be inclined to join the order. Invite Elk Scholars sponsored by your lodge back to your lodge for a meetup. Or if your lodge happens to be near a school's campus, try to host a meetup with scholars on their campus. Take some time during the meetup to introduce yourself and tell the Elk Scholars a little more about your lodge. Definitely ask the Elk Scholars what they would be interested in doing at the Lodge in the future. Here we have a picture from an Elk Scholar meetup that happened in October of 2015 on the Notre Dame campus. We actually had the scholarship chair and exalted ruler from the South Bend, Indiana Lodge number 235 join us on campus to meet the Elk Scholars. This semester, plans are in the works for the Elk Scholars to go to the South Bend Lodge to utilize the Lodge's bowling alley. That's what we like to call Elk's family. Finally, there are other ways to connect with Elk Scholars. Invite scholars and their parents to a dinner at the Lodge so that, so that they can see the Lodge in action. If you want to start small, invite only legacy scholars and their parents or grandparents to the dinner as they already have a connection to the Elks, and then reach out to MBS scholars. You can send scholars an encouraging note or email during their first semester at school. Let them know that someone at home is thinking of and supporting them. The important thing to remember is to stay in touch with Elk Scholars and to let them know a little bit more about the Elk. Continue building that relationship and welcoming them into the Elk's family. Remember, today's Elk Scholars can be tomorrow's Elk. These are photos of Elk Scholarship recipients who are all now active Elk's members. If you and your lodge start to engage Elk Scholars in the ways we discussed today, they will be more than inclined to join the order. But it does take time. Focus on building relationships from the moment you start the award, or from the moment that you give the scholar an award, and continue to stay in touch with scholars throughout their college career. 
Once you form a relationship with scholars, invite them to become members of your lodge. In closing, be sure to build relationships, volunteer together, and stay in touch. That wraps up our presentation, and now we'll take any questions that you might have. You can type your questions into the question and answer box in the corner of your screen. If you have specific questions or want to discuss what your specific lodge is doing, email scholarship at elks.org or call us at 735-4732. We're happy to help work out details and answer questions. You can also visit elks.org slash ENF slash scholars for resources to assist you in engaging elk scholars. You can look up scholars in your area and much more on our website at the link provided on the screen. We've recorded this webinar and we'll post it in the scholarship chair only section of the website later today for future reference. I'll take a quick look to see if we have any questions. Seeing none at this time, I think it's about time to sign off. Thank you all so much for attending today's webinar. We're looking forward to hearing about how your lodge engages elk scholars. Have a great rest of your day.